Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And uh, it's been a while <laughs> since I recorded. It feels like ages. It's been a few weeks. Um, so, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, Everything has been about coloring around here with me. I've uh, pulled out the books and started coloring pretty much every free minute that I have. And I've become addicted again. So I have plenty of videos that I should be recording right now. But uh, instead of doing those, I'm doing one that... I want to, to do. <laughs> so since I'm back into my coloring books and stuff, uh, I decided it was time for a purge of what I do have because my tastes have changed. Um, I have a lot of books that I've had for a couple of years and, uh, you know, I know more what I like to color now than I did before, so I've got some books in here that, that, uh, in my collection that I really don't want anymore. So, what we're going to be doing here today is I'm going to do a collection, uh, video. It'll probably take a couple or t three, a couple or three. I don't think it'd be more than that. I have quite a few, uh, coloring books, but uh, I've watched other people's collections and uh, compared to some, my collection is quite small, though to others it would be large. So, um, yeah, we're, I, I just figured I would do this on camera. We're going to go through my books and I'll show them to you. I'll know what I have in my collection when I'm finished. I'm going to add my books to my library thing account because I don't have all my coloring books in there. Uh, I put some in a long time ago and I don't have some of those anymore. So I'm going to start fresh and put the books that I keep into my library thing account. And um, yeah, so we'll just go through these and I'll decide if I'm going to keep it or not. And uh, yeah, so here's my collection, and you can join me as I decide which ones we'll be purging. So this first one here is called Magic Gold, Luxurious Designs to Color, and it's a Barron's book. It uh, has no author and um, is basically a collection of stock pictures. But I really like this because uh, on this side we have uh, your normal coloring book pages and uh, it's, a, it's a really nice collection, uh, an assortment of all sorts of different things. And then on the left hand side we have gold foiled uh, uh, the print is basically in gold, metallic gold, and uh, that's basically the reason why I got this. And uh, so, yeah, I like the pictures in here, even though they're stock images, and um, the gold is really calling to me. So are these with the black backgrounds. So, um, uh, yeah, this one's definitely a keeper. So it's magic gold. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It says Magic Gold by Barron's. Now, um, I guess I'll just put them on the floor. A pile of keeps and a pile of not keeps. Okay, now these next two I think I'm probably going to give, a, give away. Because um, these are also it's Positively Zen by Pap Leisure. These are also... Uh, a collection of stock images in here and um, 
not really anything too exciting. It's just kind of like what was what was popular about four or five years ago. But it doesn't do anything for me. And it's a big oversized book. So it's taking up room. I haven't done anything in this and I don't think I will. One thing I should note though is that with most of my books we won't find any colored pictures in them because what I used to do and still do to a degree is take, I took out the pictures that I colored and I used them in my art and my journals and um, you know I made envelopes out of them and uh, all that kind of thing so uh, yeah, so that's the reason why you're not seeing anything. Well, there will be some, but there's not a lot. Um, so yeah, this one's Exotic Pursuits by Pap Leisure. And again, it's the same. So let's just have a look at these. I don't think there's... Yeah, no. This isn't... This isn't a book I'm going to color in. So, again those two belong to the same series and uh, yeah I'm not gonna keep those so put those on the purge pile okay now this next one I'm definitely keeping this is a series that I am collecting it's called the just add color series by uh, Rockport Oh, not Rockport. Yeah, Rockport. I've never heard of that publisher. But anyways, a lot of them are by uh, Lisa Congdon, and I really like her illustrations. And this whole series has... Um, uh, the art is either, like, folk or mid-century modern. It's a very graphic style, and even though all the books are different topics and and different they they just have that feel to them and uh, yeah I really like these books this is definitely the type of thing I color the papers nice that's only on one side so this is just add color botanicals by and the uh, illustrator is Lisa Congdon so we're keeping that and all the other books that I have in the series. Okay, so the next one is a Zen Doodle, and I'll be keeping all of these as I like them. So, unless there's one that really doesn't tickle my fancy, I will be keeping them. This is from the Big series. They only have a handful that they came out with. Here on the back it says the other big ones are Birds and Butterflies, which I have. Magnificent Animals, Mindful Inspirations, and this one, Calming Gardens, and the uh, artist is Tish Miller. Now these are just like the regular Zen Doodle, except that they're large print for those with failing eyesight. I have to wear glasses when I do any reading or up-close work like coloring and that sort of stuff. So these are nice on my eyes. I don't have to wear my glasses for these. So yeah, I'm keeping that one and probably the others I have. I think I only have the one other though. So yeah, keeping that one. Okay, now the next one is Peterson Field Guide Coloring Books. Now this has so this is like um, a nature guide. Why? Oh, I thought they were stickers were missing, but it's just a half page. So um, it looks like the illustrator is Sarah Ann Hughes. Uh, so this book is just like a field guide. And there's a sticker for each animal in here. So you know what they really look like. Uh, this one I'm thinking, no, I don't want it. I can't see myself 
coloring it, but I don't know. I like the snakes. They would be good to cut out and put in my art journals. Okay, I'm going to put it on the perch pile, but I'll probably keep it and use it with my art journals. Alright, and then I have some of the Do magazine, which I believe is out of print now. I have, um, I have all the beginning issues. So this is issue number five, which was, uh, for fall 2016. I really like these magazines. They are on the right hand side. I have to be careful. My ring makes that clicking sound. What? Well, I'm going to take it off because that annoys me. Uh, the right hand side has a picture to color and then on the left hand side there are the articles. So, um, and are they perforated? Yes, they're perforated. So, um, yeah, you get little quotes and stuff like this on the backs of the pages. Sometimes they're just blank, and other times... Oh, no, the articles are at the beginning and the ending. So, yeah, I really like this because it's uh, a whole bunch of uh, different uh, pictures from the uh, design originals. Uh, set of books so uh, there's a lot of lot of different stuff in here and that's what I like see these are the design original coloring books I don't I don't think I even have any but um, yeah I don't even know if they're still publishing the the books but they had a lot and you know they were kind of similar to the um, Creative Haven books. So yeah, um, if anybody wants a complete flip through of anything that I show, uh, just let me know and I will be happy to do that. So keeping that and I'm keeping all the others. So I have the, uh, this is the issue number four which was summer of 2016. Now oh, this is kind of wrinkly. Yeah, I definitely did some watercoloring in this. It's probably not in here though. I would have taken it out. Oh, yeah, I did those. I remember doing those. Yeah, so there's a uh, yeah, nice pictures in here and um, interesting information. Okay, and then I have issue number three, which is the winter spring 2016. <laughs> I don't seem to be hitting many of the pictures. There we go. Yeah, all sorts of different things in here and uh, it tells you what book it's from they're not all from books like this one's not and this is by uh, Brenda Abdoyan this one's by Deborah Valencia yeah okay so keeping that one and then next is the uh, Christmas issue this was uh, issue doesn't say what issue it is. Oh, issue number two, winter 2015. So this is a Christmas themed one, so definitely keep that and do some work out of that one for Christmas time. Okay, next I have a few little strange things. Uh, I have a couple of pictures from a uh, Spider-Man paint, kids paint set. I was keeping these because uh, they're a nice card stock and I was thinking I could use them as, as a, uh, uh, oh, where are my words? Uh, 
just to do art on, but they're slick and I don't know, I don't need to be keeping that. I have plenty of canvases. And then the next thing was a uh, paint by number kit that I had for ages. And I was keeping this for the canvas too. So it's a, it's a paint by number. And basically just a piece of paper stuck to a piece of cardboard. So it's not exactly the great, greatest for a canvas. So yeah, I'm going to chuck that too. So yeah, not doing that. Okay, then another uh, do magazine. And my books are in no order whatsoever. Uh, we get lucky if we have series together like this. This is issue number seven, spring 2017. I have more of these somewhere, so. Article on shading, highlighting, practice pages. This is from Teacup Kittens, and some of them give you, uh, give you, uh, palettes to follow. This is, a. Uh, is, is that started? Yeah, started coloring that. That's awful. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is a little wobbly. I've done some done some water coloring in this one too somewhere along the way was that no everything's been pulled out that I did in that okay the next we have creative haven and um, I this might be the only book I have by them though I think I do have another one so yeah I only have a couple this one's aren't nouveau fashions and it is by Ming Ju Sun now, I don't like coloring people, so I'm not sure if I'll keep this one. I mean, they're pretty pictures. I like, I like the fashion. The Art Nouveau period is one that I'm interested in, though I'm more interested in um, the furniture and the architecture. So, yeah, this doesn't do anything for me. I'm not interested in collections of ladies. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep that one. Okay. Now, the next one is a picture -a book, and I collect this series. Well, I was actively collecting it at one point, and I got a hold of pretty much every one that I could. Uh, I'm basically collecting them because of the famous illustrators that uh, that did this series. This one's by um, Helen Ward. And um, I actually did start this one. To, uh, I was going to watercolor in them. And so that's what I started. That was when I didn't know what I was doing with watercolor. Not that I know what I'm doing now, but I know a little bit more. That is like really sparkly. I wonder what paint that is. Huh. So yeah, these are really nice. I, I know everybody's seen these, but uh, so I'm not gonna open these up. But I have a lot of these and I'm keeping them. Even if I never uh, paint in them, I keep them for the art as part of my collection. Okay, so now it looks like we have a pile of um, Zen Doodles. So, unless it uh, bothers me <laughs> for some reason, I'm keeping these. These are all in excellent condition, too. If I worked in these, I uh, probably took the page out before I even worked on it. So this is by um, Jody Best and is Celestial Wonders, so. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, these, these are not exactly doing it for me, I gotta say. They're all so boring. 
you know, I can't see myself really doing anything in this one. I mean, that's just zendoodling. I guess that's why the series is called Zendoodle. Uh, yeah, no, this this one bothers me. I'm not I'm not keeping that one. Okay. Next one is another Zen Doodle, and this one is Baby Animals, and it's by Jeanette Wummel. Now this is more like, this is more like it. I like, I like coloring in the Zen Doodles. At least these ones are more like pictures. Yeah, I like this. This is cute. Definitely going to keep that one. Okay, so now we're back to the Just Add Color. And um, when I was looking for bo books in this series to add to my collection, I found out that there's, a, there's another series of books called Just Add Color. And they're completely different, and they're not part of this series. So if you're looking for them, just take a look at the covers. They all have a... A stripe down the side here and uh, yeah it's this one's called folk art it's by uh, Lisa Congdon again and it's just that style that folk art type thing oh there's a lot of patterns in here I'm keeping it though because I just I like the I like the art and yeah, that's cute I like houses. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about these, uh, about those, uh, uh wallpaper-ish patterns. Like, that doesn't do anything for me. But, uh, yeah, okay, so, and that's part of the collection. Uh, the next one is Just Add Color Arboretum. I can never say that word. And this one's by Lisa Congdon again. Oh, and one thing I should tell you about this series is that um, they have some colored prints in the, at the beginning. Uh, not all of them, but some of them do. This one. So there's four, I believe. And it gives you an idea of how to color it, too, because it's the first four pictures. But I love trees. It's a theme that i am always been into. I like drawing them. I like painting them. I like looking at them. But yeah, that's a nice one. And another book in the series... This one is called Carnival, and it's by Sarah Walsh. Now, see, this is totally not folk art or mid-century modern, but it just has the same kind of feel to it. I love this one. This one's awesome. I don't think I've ever done anything in this one. Yeah, I love that one. That one's cool. Sarah Walsh. Okay, another one by, uh, oh no, that's not. This is by Jen Ski and Mid-Century Modern Animals. So obviously this one is definitely Mid-Century Modern. And I love the graphic design from this era. So I love this, I love this kind of pattern. These are cool. I love that one. So definitely going to keep that one. I haven't seen anybody working in these or anything. How old are they? Ooh, 2014. Now, in the uh, coloring book world, that is uh, old. So I'll have to look for the rest of the books in that series because I definitely don't have them all. Now, this next one is The Circus, and this is by Sarah Walsh. So this one's probably going to be pretty cool again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. 
I don't like going to circuses, but I like the, uh, oh, that's a Fiji mermaid. I like the aesthetic of it, especially vintage circuses stuff. Yeah, I love that one. That one is cool. That'll be fun to work in. Okay, so the next book is Sacred Animals. Coloring Experiences for the Mystical and Magical, and this is by Lydia Hess. Now, I'm not into all that, um, you know, New Age stuff, but I got this for the illustrations. They're really cool. Definitely keeping this one. And this side just has a word. That's nice. The Egyptian cat. Yeah, definitely keeping that one. So, so far I'm keeping more than I am purging. Okay, so this is the Passive Aggressive Coloring Book, and this is really cool. I like this. It's by Charlotte Farmer, and uh, it has a, has a dust jacket on it. You can color the cover if you want. So this one I got because uh, I like to color the images and cut them out and use them in my journals. So maybe a couple of pages missing somewhere where I've done that. Yeah this is uh this is cool. This this is my kind of uh humor Okay, now the next one is another magazine. This was Somerset Studios, uh, the coloring studio, and I think I have about the first five of this magazine. Um, I think it was coming out like a couple of times a year or something like that. I don't know if it's still being published or not. So this was the Winter 2017 edition, and these are really cool. Again, all the, uh, the, the paper is nice and thick, too. All the art is on the right-hand side, while the uh, left-hand side has articles and information. See, so here's a picture, and it's got stuff on the back, but you don't mind. Now, is this perforated? Yeah, no, these ones weren't perforated, and that's that bothered me a little bit. I've got a couple marked here that I want to work on. So there are some uh, fairly famous people in here. This is Jamie Doherty, Haley McFarland, Kanika Jane Gupta, Mandy Russell. Okay, well, I haven't heard of any of these people except for James. Jamie Doherty, but uh, Elizabeth Krupka Buccio. Yeah, so again, this has got a huge variety of pictures, and I love um, coloring books like that. So that you can just pick something that uh, you're in the mood for. So, definitely keeping all of those. Next, we have another uh, picture. This one is Deborah McFarland's Once Upon a Time. And again, I'm not going to. I'm not going to show the insides. We all know what those look like. But if you want a flip, then uh, just let me know. Okay, so this one was a. Um, I got this one off of Book Outlet, and I didn't realize at the time that it was what it was. This is a uh, mini sized one. Pages are perforated and it contains botanical, which I've already shown you, folk art, which I've already shown you, and geometric, which I'm pretty sure I have as well. So I'm going to keep this on the side and uh, if I find geometric then I'm going to let this one go because uh, I don't need to have two copies of it. Yeah, I haven't even done anything in it. Now this next one, I've seen people uh, having books in this series. 
Vive La Color. This one's Africa, and I have done several of these. But the problem with this is that some of the stuff is very, very simple like that. I don't know if you can see it because it's gray lines. And some of it is just absolutely impossible to color. I mean, you would need a, uh, even if you needed glasses like me, you would still need to have one of those great big magnifying glasses that you put over your work so you could see it. It's minuscule. And, uh, yeah, I was just using this to put the pages in my journal, and I'm, I'm not keeping that, not interested in it. This next one I ordered off of AliExpress, and I didn't really realize what I was going to get. This is some kind of bootleg version, min, mini version of, of some book. I've never heard of it though. Emily Shen, Fantasy Dream. So yeah, this is just, I don't want that. Okay, and then the next one is Escape to Oz, a coloring book adventure illustrated by Good Wives and Warriors. Now I've got a couple of books in this set and uh, I kind of, uh, collect all things Oz, so I'm definitely going to keep this, though these um, storybook ones aren't exactly my cup of tea for coloring, though that would be fun. Yeah, I'm keeping this, but I don't know if I'll ever color in it. So yeah, the uh, Good Wives and Warriors is the creative partnership established by Becky Bolton and Louise Chapel after graduating from the Glasgow School of Art. So yeah, they make all sorts of different things, including coloring books. So I've got a couple of theirs. So keep that one. And it's got a, I don't know if you noticed, or if you can even see, it's got gold foiling on the cover, and I showed you the French flaps. So that's a pretty book. And then we have another, we have another uh, Pictura. This one is by Nikki Palin, and it's Reef. Okay, this next one is a little stained glass book and um, I'm not going to keep this in my collection. I'm going to put this in my art journal stuff. That would be fun to put in a Halloween book. Okay, so this next one is kind of like that Africa one I showed you except that it's bigger. Wow. Well, there's a, there's a whip. I don't have many of those. So yeah, this is falling out of its, the text block has come out, but it has a, um, oh, it has a, um, coloring board in it, or that's not what it's called. Mm, art sketch pads and stuff have those in them too. forget what it's called. This is just all way too teeny tiny and I'm not interested in these patterns. So yeah, that one is going. Oh, I don't know if I even told you. It's called Bollywood Coloring for Mindfulness. I don't know if it has an illustrator. No doesn't have even have I'm not keeping that one okay so back to the do magazines so this is issue number nine from fall 2017 uh, I took some stuff out of this one I know but yeah like I said I'm uh, I'm keeping all these Valencia Harper that's some double-sided ones. It was this by Thania McArdle, Valerie McCann, Heather, 
the Volku, Jess Belinsky. Yeah. And yeah, I'm keeping all these. And then the next one is another uh, big Zen Doodle. I think I only have these two. This is Birds and Butterflies by Nicolette Corley. I'm keeping this one. It's just got some very simple, big pictures. And these are perforated, too. One-sided. So, yeah, I like this kind of uh, coloring. It helps me to be calm. Okay, so I wanted to keep these around the uh, half hour mark, and we're at 35 minutes right now. Uh, so I'm going to stop here, and uh, then uh, we will continue in part two. And uh, we have not even made a dent in my collection. So, But I've got probably about a dozen books there that I decided to get to purge, so we're doing good. Hey, thank you for joining me, and uh, in the meantime, until next time, bye bye